Team, keep it clean. First, before we get into this, I got to say I, I really appreciate all the healthy conversation uh, on the Greg Roman video on asking the question if he should be fired or not. Um, a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say, which I appreciate, uh, but everybody, they shared their opinion respectfully. Nobody got nasty or disrespectful or anything like that, uh, so I really appreciate that a lot. So shout out to y'all. Now, um, in a few different videos this year. Uh, we said that, especially after he got that back injury in um, in training camp or right before preseason, I said that anything that we get from Derek Wolf would be a bonus, anything, because I just I did not have any faith in him whatsoever to be playing this season. I I just I didn't see it happening. But then all of a sudden it came out. Oh, the Ravens they 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 removed Derek Wolf. From injured reserves. So I was like, okay, hold up, wait a minute. We getting this bonus, let's go. And when you remove a player from injured reserve, then they, they're not placed on the active roster right away. But they have 21 days to be placed on the active roster. So we all knew that within three weeks, we were getting number 95 back. We were getting him back. And it was like, all right, we could certainly use him. The run defense ain't been what it was last year. They ain't been too bad, but they certainly ain't been what they were. I mean, really the whole defense, period. But um, having more reinforcements will certainly make the team that much better. But then we heard from Jeff Zrebic that Derek Wolf, he ain't even look close to being ready. Didn't even look close. And it was like, oof. Okay, and that was after he had got activated from injury reserve. So it was like, ooh, so he got less than 21 days and he don't even look close. All right, we got to hope for this miraculous turnaround. Hopefully his back just is like, hey, Derek, I got you. But apparently we're not getting that because Harbaugh in a presser today, he said he's done. Harbaugh said he's done that uh, Derek Wolf, he is going to be out for the rest of the year. So that list of Ravens players and Ravens significant players out this year, I mean, he was already on it, but it was looking like he was going to get removed from it, but it looks like he's going to be staying on uh, for the remainder. So that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate because, I mean, that's been the story this season. The story this season uh, from the Ravens um, has been, I would say, one of the words I would use would be uh, resilience. Um, I would another word I would be I would say would be another phrase, of course, battle tested. Um, another one I would say, uh, stressful. That's a that's a pretty good one. That might be the best one out of all of them. Um, but the Ravens, they certainly been through it when it's come to the injuries, as you all already know. So that's old news. Now, um, he did say Nick Boyle, he said Nick Boyle was close to playing on Thursday night. Cause uh somebody asked him. They were like, Oh well how um how how close well was Nick Boyle close to playing on Thursday night against the Dolphins? And he said yes. And he just sat there. He just said yes and just sat there. Now, one of my guys he did tell me. He said, When the Ravens win, oh boy, the, the mood around the castle, it's a vibe, man. Everybody happy, he's all happy. But when they lose, it's different. It's different. And then, of course, y'all y'all know. Y'all have seen plenty of pressers with John Harbaugh before. And you know when Ravens lose, you know that's when the reporters, that's when they get them good questions out. And that's when those questions, they, they really get to Harbaugh. Like, when they winning, you see a little bit of Petty Harbaugh here. But, but when they lose, ooh. He answers the questions different. He responds different. And this was no different. <laughs> All he did was he said, yes. And that's it. I mean, you know, Harbaugh been he been trying his best to keep pretty hush on the injuries recently. But anyway, now my favorite question, my favorite question of this entire presser today, and I was actually surprised when they asked about it. I was like, "What they asking about our guy?" Somebody asked about Tyson Williams and about him getting more involved, and I was like, "What?" They they asked about to, I was like we in the in the Greg Roman video we were just talking about Tyson. I mean we've been talking about him through the entirety of this season, but we were just talking about him how he just you, you know Ravens they they're done with him. 
They don't, they don't care nothing about no Tyson Williams. So I would just, I, I appreciated that so much. So whoever that reporter was, whoever that media person was, we appreciate you asking about Tyson Williams. Now, when that question was asked, we should have known we were not going to get a straight answer. Because Harbaugh said, <laughs> he said, every player has to contribute. They have to perform and they have to produce. If you're running back, you need to run hard. You need to break tackles. You need to get yards. You need to pass protect. You need to run the right route. You need to catch the ball and get upfield. And he said, um, if you like a third string, then you're going to need to play special teams too. That was it. No, I, I mean, I, I was hoping. And again, I wasn't expecting because we know Harbaugh. We know how he, but I was just hoping like we would get something, something. But we ain't get nothing uh, with Tyson Williams. So same old stuff. Again, Tyson Williams, he is, he's not the forgotten man. But the Ravens, they, uh, they're not big fans of forgiveness when it comes to Tyson Williams. They're not. Now, um, I know in the, in the video that we talked about earlier today, because I voiced my frustrations on uh, the way that they use the running backs. And then I feel like they just, they just want everybody to run. All right, uh, Devontae, you get 10 carries. Le'Veon Bell, okay, since Devontae got 10. All right, so you'll get eight or nine. Because we got to keep your carries close to Devontae Freeman's carries. Because we, we, we just don't want anybody to be upset. But then Tyson, you'll get 10 minus 9 carries. Well, you know what? Let's just do 10 minus 10. You can come on the field. We'll fake it to you, whatever. But don't expect the ball. Now, again, I, it, it must it had to have stemmed from the Raiders game. Because that's really the only time he really got carries like that. In the first, ha in the first half of the Raiders game, as a matter of fact. Because he had like nine or ten carries in the first half, then the second half he had two. He did have a couple catches too now, but they just stopped. They stopped. So it's like, we, that was week one. We in week, what, ten going into week eleven? And they, they, they been cut this dude off a long time ago. Now, again, they, they, gave, they gave him a shot against the Bengals in that fourth down play when the game was kind of out of reach. Not necessarily out of reach, but you would have needed a lot to go your way. Um, when he ran out of bounds, that's that that I felt like that sealed his fate. And I felt like that was just where I I couldn't I couldn't defend that. But it's like Ravens they they don't want to give him any shots, and it's like your your the the fact that your run game is in the predicament that it's in that it's in the shape that it's in. Like most of your yards are coming from the mall. They shouldn't, but they are. Cause he back there running for his life. But so, so why not let somebody else like take some of that weight off his shoulders? Why not? Especially somebody with some speed. But I just this is just one of the not even one of the biggest stories of this season that blows my mind. It's just one of those sort of uh, not, and it's not even really under the radar because all Ravens fans know about it. But it's just one of those stories from this year that just I don't understand why I don't. Did, did he do something that bad to where coaches were like, you know what? Mm -mm. You're done. You are done. Like, I could really picture them saying that to him, looking him dead in the eye and saying, Tyson, you're done here. Yeah, you'll be active on game day, but you are done here. You ain't touching the ball. Don't think that you are because you're not. I could really see them saying that to him because okay, actions speak louder than words. And we see the actions when they're out there. So it's just, it's, it's the weirdest thing, but we don't know the ins and outs. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes and da 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 So <sighs> it's what it is. So Latavius Murray, now, you know, when, when, when he's back, Tyson Williams going right back to the deinactive list. You already know what's coming. You already know what's coming. And I, I, I honestly think that um, even though he's an undrafted free agent, so it ain't like he's taking up a bunch, a bunch of the salary cap anyway. I do think that this offseason, Tyson Williams is going to, even if he did it during this season, I wouldn't be surprised. But I could see him requesting his release, like, especially this offseason, because it's like, what, what am I going to do here? What's the point of me sticking around here? What, 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 what am I going to do with this team? 
Cause you got you already got right now you, you giving Latavius Murray even though he's been out for the past couple of weeks but giving Devonte Freeman Le'Veon Bell and Latavius Murray giving them carries over me I know the system yeah I messed up early on but okay are we not allowed to make mistakes I guess not but yeah those guys are veterans but I I got the fountain of youth on my side and you know this offense we could certainly use some explosive plays. And it's like, uh, then we got J.K. Dobbins and, and Gus Edwards coming back. Oh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a place here. You know what? Um, Eric DaCosta, thank you so much for the opportunity. I, I, I really appreciate it. And, you know, it's, it's nothing against you guys personally, but I just feel like the best decision for me and my family and my future would be if, if I was just given an opportunity elsewhere. So uh, I'm, I, I would just like to formally uh, request my release. That's that. And I'm sure it will be granted right away. Because it, it already seems like they released him based off of how they play him. Well, how they don't play him. And it's like, especially if you, you're so busy giving carries to everybody, but you're obviously skipping out on him. So you're done. You're done with him. I know somebody, uh, somebody asked me the other day. They were like, oh, Engraven, you think, um, you think that they're, they're saving him for like playoffs or something? Saving him for the long run? No, I don't. No. Not one bit. No. Because why would, why would this team, why would these Ravens save Tyson Williams and then be like, oh, you know what? We're going to bring him out in the playoffs. If he ain't been touching the ball this whole time in the regular season, what are they going to bring him out? What, what, what are they going to bring him out in the playoffs for? For what? What's that going to do? Of course not. No. So I won't be surprised whenever that day comes that, that we hear that Tyson Williams requested his release. And I would not be mad at him at all. I will completely understand. Cause it is, it is just a situation. He's just, he's just there. He's just there. Somebody in the comment section now they were, t <laughs> they were talking about Greg Roman, but I, I looked at that and it reminded me of Tyson Williams. They were like, "You ever been at a job where you feel like you've, you've done everything that you can there, and you can't go any further than, than you've gone, so you should want to leave." Again, they, they were talking about Greg Roman, but. That's how I feel about Tyson Williams. And, yeah, so I, I just feel like the relationship is it's been over for a while now. But, anyway, we'll see what happens. Hoping the best for him, for sure. Um, wouldn't mind if we got some surprises this week against the Bears, but I ain't counting on it. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you always for listening, and thank you all for supporting. I love you. I hope you're having a really good Monday. And we, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, the Rams and the 49ers tonight. Odell Beckham Jr. All right, we're we gonna see, we're gonna see. That should be fun. Anyway, team, keep it clean. We out.